died, Hop has returned to the exact same spot where he started, and Hippity and Hop have gone back to their original spot, and nobody knows how Hippity and Hop changed colors. Do you have any guesses? Yes. Turn them around. Should we turn them over? Yeah, let's turn it completely over and see that it doesn't affect anything. <laughs> Oh, you want to see the other side? Yes. Yeah, let's do this side over here. That's fine. Right. <laughs> yes. Can I show you? No, just tell me. Switch the... Oh, you want to, you want to spin it? Yes. Okay. Like the other way? Yes. Yeah, all right, let's go this direction. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Actually, this is Hippity over here. Wow. What? And this is Hop over here. They really are magic rabbits. Give them a great big <laughs> Tremendous faith in God. There's a spider on me. It just went off. <laughs> he had tremendous faith in God. It was great. But there was also some other kind of animals on there. Like I think there was probably a raccoon. I think there was. I think his name was Rocky. The problem is they don't wake up at daytime because they are nocturnal. So that means we got to wake him up. Everybody say, Rocky, wake up. Rocky, wake up. Rocky, wake up. That just made him turn over. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Rocky! That just made him snore. <laughs> One more time. One, two, three. Rocky! Oh, that did it. That did it. Come here. Oh, he's all over the place. This is Rocky. And he is tame and he is trained. Quit looking around just because you're single doesn't mean you can do that. <laughs> Go to eHarmony.com. <laughs> he, he's a true friend. A true friend will actually lend you an ear. Mm. Uh, you got to be one to lend an ear back. You know? Yeah, don't, don't do that. We're at a party right now. Yeah. Uh, that's a bad raccoon. No. Oh, dear Lord, he died. Hold on, I know CPR. <laughs> Abraham said, if you say it, I believe it. I've got faith. Let me have another helper from the audience. Okay, you're ready now? Okay, come on up from the back. Give her a hand as she comes. Come on down over here. What's your name? Kylie? Kyrie. Kyrie. Okay, Kyrie. God said, Abraham, you're going to have so many sons that they're going to be as numerous as the stars in the sky. And that's a lot of kids when you look at all the stars in the sky. So Kyrie, put your hand out like that. We're going to take one sponge like this, put it in there. I'm going to take one and I'm going to give it to Kyrie. You guys keep track of them. This one's mine right here. And I'm going to give Kyrie one. So I've got one and Kyrie has one close tight on yours. Don't open up till I tell you. Let's get rid of my sponge. Everybody say, Donnie's sponge disappeared. Donnie's sponge disappeared. And it does like that. But God said, Abraham, you're going to start with one kid, and then you're going to multiply. You're going to have more. They're going to be so numerous that the, they're going to be like the sand on the seashore and the stars in the sky. Harry, wave your hand like this and say, uh oh, I had a kid. Open up. <laughs> yeah, she's got two. I know. One, two of them. Hang on to these, Kyrie. Both hands. Let's make sure. That I don't have any. Do I have anything in here? No. no. You know that song, Father Abraham yeah. had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. 
and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. We got that song from this story about Abraham having all these kids because Abraham had faith. Kyrie, say Abraham had lots of faith and lots of kids. Open up your hands for me. Give her a great big hand. but he ended up going this way. Now it's bad news when you go your own way and not God. He went his own way the whole time like this, which is really bad. He's not supposed to go his own way. God told him, God said, I want you to go this way, but instead he went his own way. Here he is on a ship. He's going the opposite direction. He should be going to Nineveh, but he's going to a place called Tarshish. As he's on the boat, heading in the opposite direction of where God told him to go, there's a great big storm. Everybody calls on their gods, to help them. None of the gods helped them. And then one of them said, hey, go wake up Jonah. See if he can tell us why this storm is happening. They went down and woke him up and said, hey, Jonah, hey, Jonah, you got to tell us, why is this storm happening? Jonah said, the reason why is because it's my fault. I'm supposed to be going God's way, but I'm going the opposite way. So they said, Jonah, we're going to throw you overboard. And they throw him down. <coughs> and he went down, down, blub, 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 blub. The whole time he was going down, you know what he was wishing? Man, I wish I would have gone God's way so I could go. I'd like to go up. But instead he's going down, wishing he could go up. The good news. God said, Jonah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to send a fish to swallow you up. And the fish swallowed him up and he went up, 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 up like that. Which was really cool and he learned a lesson. He said, you know what, from now on, I'm going to go God's way the whole time. Which is really cool because when we give our heart to Jesus and we follow what He wants us to do, He can use our lives to make a big difference. And that's what happened the second time when God used Jonah. Let's give Him a hand. God can take nothing and make something out of it. I've already told you that. Everybody see my square box? Put your hand through there. Make sure there's nothing in there. Nope. Nothing in there. Good. I'll put it here on my tube like this. I'll show you my tube. That's only fair. Everyone see my tube? Yeah. All right. So we have my tube here, and we've got my square box. Tube and my square box. God said, to Jonah, he said to Abraham, he said to Noah, do what I want you to do and if you will, good things are going to happen. I'm going to bless you. Your kids are going to be so numerous they're going to be like, like the sand on the seashore. I'm going to bless you and bless you and bless you. And God's blessings, if you'll just have faith in me, even though you've blown it, put your faith back in me. Trust me. I can use your life again. Even if you've disobeyed, start tonight. Put your faith in me. I can make your life beautiful. I can make it colorful. You can help other people. Even though you can't see it, trust me, I'm there. I can make a huge difference in your life. Let's get him a Well, if we keep reading in Hebrews chapter 11, it's going to tell us that those people who had faith in God also suffered for God. And they also were persecuted for God. In fact, there's a movie coming out called Persecuted. Have you heard about it? Coming out this weekend, it's a Christian film. You should watch it. It's called Persecuted. I think it comes out on Thursday. Th 
Thursday, and it's about Christians being persecuted, so I need somebody brave for this trick. Are you going to help? Hey, come on up, bud. Give him a hand as he comes. All right, thanks. Now drink. Hey, hold on to that with both hands. Pull it like that. Thank you for helping. This is a trick where I cut someone in half. I'm going to take this rope and put it around you like that. Don't tell the pastor you're on the altar. You'll never know. Uh, you put your hands down like this. It's a good place to hang with your life on the altar, I'll tell you. On the count of three, we're going to pull the rope and you stay there, okay? Don't move. I'm going to actually pull the rope through you like... Oh, no, don't move. <laughs> I'm going to gently pull the rope. Oh, I pulled too hard? Okay, you know what? Hey, if, how about this? I'm going to pull the rope through your back. It's going to go through your belly and right through your belly button. Once it goes through your belly button, that's when the top half of your body falls off onto the carpet. We'll pass that around for inspection, so don't run off with your bottom. Okay. Have you ever done this before? Neither have I. Give me a No, I'm just kidding. I practice on my half sister. Do you have to do this? But she has a split personality. She just doesn't get the On the count of three. Here, put that down. On the count of three, let's count together. One, two, three. I have a big question for you. Do you have any final thoughts, words, or prayers before we say goodbye? What?
Okay, that's good. Now, I need for you, I've got a helper for you. Because this trick is kind of dangerous. Do you have faith? Do you have faith? It's a good thing I have Bob here to help you. This is Bob the bodyguard. He's going to help you. So that you're going to stay safe. Now the reason why you need a bodyguard is because this trick is performed with a long, sharp, pointed needle. Now I don't like these needles when the doctor says, Mr. Crandall, can you bend over? We're going to give you a shot right there. I don't like it. That's why I always ask for a brave volunteer from the audience. When you turn like this, go turn the other way. This way, go this way. I'm going to take the needle and insert it into the right hip. Don't look, it's less painful. I'm going to put the needle in about that far. I'll pull it back out, wipe the blood off. Nobody will even know anything ever happened. Are you ready? Oh, no. On the count of three, let's count together. One, two, three. I can't do it. I'm too nervous. Here, stand back up for me. I have a different idea. How about if we test the needle on Bob? Yeah. You feel better about that? It's like Bob Ferraro. Okay. Just like that. Let me let me take Bob in my own hands and let's test it on Bob. It's okay. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Shish Kabob. <laughs> Good and sharp. And the Bible says because of their faith, the flames could not touch them. Swords could not, even if they tried to cut them in two, their faith in God sustained them. 